Okay, so I'm going to explain what it is. It's silver fish. It's called mokene. Can you say mokene? So, mokene. Mokene. <laughs> mokene. That's yeah, that is in uh, Luganda. Mokene. Um, and in English, it's called silver fish. You've seen it before or not? No. no. But I've seen it here in the box. <laughs> If you're new here, you're welcome. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, you're welcome as well. So in today's video, I'm going to be making warm food for lunch because I have the time today. And um, it's um, a dish that uh, Jeremy has not tried before, either the kids. So I'm excited and uh, at this point, they are all hungry. Uh, mostly Jeremy because the kids um, are having now something else to eat their potatoes and um, Yeah, so let's without wasting time. Let's uh, go into this I'm going to be making it like how I know it and um, if, if you have any other way of how to make it you can let me know so that maybe next time I can try it out so I'm going to be making this I don't know if you can let me see yeah this is called mokene in luganda and in um english it's called silver fish so i'm excited for jeremy to be trying it out so let's get into this so our ingredients are the tomatoes the carrots the garlic the onions and of course the silver fish an eggplant that's all that we need for the air yeah, and butter that's all we need for the sauce I've already washed all these, so I'm just going to chop them into pieces. chopping everything that's what i have i don't have enough space here but later i'll add in this as well this other piece so now i'm going to start preparing the silver fish first of all you need to take off the heads because they say if you leave the heads on they're a bit um sour so you don't want that in your sauce you want to enjoy your sauce without that and then after that, I'll be roasting it a bit here in the pan. I'll show you that. And I'll be doing that because um, there is that special aroma it brings when um, it's um, roasted first. Yeah. I'm using this bowl to measure how much I want to cook. Now I'm removing the heads. Open for session. Guys, we are almost done. It has taken longer than I expected. Yeah, but we are almost there. And guys, if you're there and you know how to preserve the silver fish, please let me know because a friend of mine asked as well, asked me, but I had no answer for, for her. I told her like what I did with mine, I just put them in a tin like you've seen with the lid. And um, she also has a lot of it, since it's hard to find it here in Europe. 
so she'll be glad maybe other people also will learn from um, your response forgotten some here yeah i'm done this is what i've managed to get out of uh, all that i had that's enough and these are all the heads for a yeah for the bin the preparation process is done now it's time for the cooking process let's get into this Let's start with the roasting of the silver fish. Do this for 3 to 5 minutes. Just take it off and uh, put it in a uh, cold water. So I put it in cold water to wash it, as you can see. I'll just leave it in there like for 10 minutes and then I will come back to it. And it's also because I want all the unwanted particles to sink down and then I'll just pick up the silver fish that is on top. Start with the onions. The paprika mine is frozen as you can see. Fry until it has some brown color. At this point, add in the tomatoes and the carrots. The reason as to why I'm putting in the eggplant lastly is because it absorbs the oil which makes the rest burn fast and this way it doesn't. Salt, curry, Add in garlic, this is optional. Add in herbs to your own preference. The silver fish. And then lastly, some water. I'm going to boil the sauce like for 15 minutes. And then when the 15 minutes are done, it will be ready. Yeah. So, but as we wait, I'm going to be cooking water for the posho. I'm going to be showing you that as well. It's what we are going to eat it with.
for the posho you just need to boil water and then for now I'm using the maganjo maize flour and then keep on mingling As the food is cooking, there is something that I would like to share with you. I found this at some shop here, but it's made for the onions. I tried it out, I put in my remaining from the onion and um, it really kept it fresh, like for the whole week. So I recommend if you find it somewhere, it's really good. There are also other pieces like for like in different shapes eh? like where you can keep your your avocado and uh, also where you can keep your your tomatoes but all in the shape like this is in the shape of an onion if you see it very well like if you cut your onion in a half this is the shape that you have back to our food Our posho is ready as well, so I will start serving. <laughs> This is fresh juice that I make every Friday for the weekend. It's made out of watermelon, mangoes, strawberries, oranges, carrots and apples. Do you know what we are eating today? I saw like shrimps, shrimps? and uh, carrots. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but the white one, you know what? I heard is? for sure. Yeah, but you know what posho is? Uh, is it the first time you're having it? No, yeah? it's not the first time I'm having it. Yeah. But um. For the, yeah, for the posho, he has had it many it's, times here. Yeah. Something. But with always with beans. Mm. Uh, powder or something that you put in the... yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay so i want to explain what it is it's silver fish it's called mokene can you say mokene so, mokene mokene <laughs> mokene Natalia yeah that is in uh, luganda mokene yeah. and in english it's called silver fish you've seen it before or no no but no, i've seen it here in the box <laughs> But it looks like uh, like shrimps, you know. It's like very uh, yeah yeah. And they have a similar. Uh, they're in between a shrimp and an insect, you know. An insect. Uh, yeah, in Uganda we don't have shrimps. Uh, yeah. Or oh, how is it called? The 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 ones I don't like eating. Um, Not the shrimps, but something else, the small ones. Just the hot dog, yeah. Shrimps, they're called. You always have scampi, but they're yeah, bigger. the scampis. Yeah, yeah. We, in Uganda, also don't have scampis, yeah. but we have uh, this the mokene, the silver fish. Yeah. And you guys here don't have it, so it's the other way around. Mm. Yeah. Are you excited to try it? <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, 
Let's hope it's good. So, uh, <laughs> am I excited? Yes. You're hungry or no? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not so hungry, but yeah. Yeah? Okay. And we eat with the hands again. <laughs> yeah, with the hands. No, uh, we already washed our yeah. hands, so we shall start eating. Yeah. So that you tell us what you think about it. Mm. Not only the sauce, you can also pick the fish. Because eh? then you don't know what it is. You have to also pick the fish. But I need a big piece of that. Yeah. This looks weird than the fish. I think it's hard. No, the fish looks weird. <laughs> yeah. Why do you say that it looks weird? It's not hard. First test it and then you tell us what you think about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good, yeah. It has a... Uh, how you say like a bit of an aftertaste a bit mm -hmm. um but i cannot really place uh place the taste mm -hmm. um this is nice it's mm -hmm. really nice huh? delicious it's a long time mm -hmm. i've had this yeah I it's um five years i've not had this fish i'm happy that i'm now finally mm -hmm. eating it again You like? I am uh, not even seeing the thing here and I I can um uh, Yeah, that's not something I would eat every day. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah, it's edible, it's it's good, it's okay. Oh. But do you know that in Uganda yeah. they also use it as medicine? Eh? Medicine? Mm -hmm. For what? Like if a kid has measles, eh? the yeah. chicken pox, yeah. the one that's not any hard. Eh? They just prepare this and then the kid eats it. Yeah. yeah. Or drinks the this the sauce from yeah. it. Yeah. And then it's medicine. The kid gets cured eh, from the measles and they passes <laughs> Yeah, that's why the people there yeah. say that it's medicine. Mm. Yeah. It also has a lot of uh, proteins in it. Eh? Mm, that I can believe. Yeah. Fish. Yeah. Mm. So it's healthier. <laughs> it's better than eating the burgers and um. Hmm? Mm. Yeah. Unfortunately, we lost the rest of the footage, but we are lucky that the video was almost ending. There was also a funny part in that video where Natanya was telling us not to eat with our hands. We explained to him that some foods you just eat with your hands. Not everything, of course. And also in the future, when we go back to Uganda, that he will also be eating this dish with his hands. Guys, this marks the end of our vlog today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share the video with your family and friends so that they don't miss out on any of our videos. And yeah, let's meet in our next video. Ciao. Ciao.